Hello there, I'm Angela Steniford and my husband Michael Steniford from Owens Cassidy Real Estate. As we head into the Christmas period, we thought it would be helpful to give you a quick summary of how the Adelaide real estate market has performed and also our predictions for 2018. Over the last couple of months, the average prices have held steady, with annual increase being 4.6%. This reflects the longer term trend of values increasing between 3 and 5% since 2013, so slow and steady wins the race. Certain sectors on the eastern coast are facing a challenging period, whereas Adelaide has remained consistently positive. Owens Cassidy have sold over 550 homes so far this year, with our auction clearance rate being 93%, which is really considerably higher than the general industry. Another key indicator of market strength is the time properties stay on market. Across those 500 plus homes, for auction it was 23 days and for private treaty 49. Three of those sales were in excess of $4 million as we move further into the premium market. Our expectations for 2018 are as follows. We see our off-market sales increasing due to the benefits to both buyer and seller. Hot suburbs, kernel like gardens due to heritage classification, block size and character homes. Always Dulwich and Rose Park due to the fabulous location. Anywhere zoned for Glenunga International High School, especially those suburbs like Glen Osmond and Glenunga due to their relative affordability. Greatest demand. The baby boomers, of which there are 5.5 million nationally, are actively trying to find that single storey home in the same area they have lived in. Budget usually a secondary consideration, and most are financial due to the sale of the family home. This lack of supply means that they're also keen to seek suitable land and build if necessary. Areas for concern? As a result of government concerns surrounding relatively relaxed lending guidelines in the past and the increasing levels of household debt in comparison to income, lending policies will continue to tighten, especially on investment lending. This is contributing to another worrying factor we are experiencing with buyers who have been granted pre-approval to make a purchase, only for their lender's policy to change in the interim, which puts them in a very, very risky position. Please contact us to receive more critical information in this area. If we were looking to invest ourselves, certainly low-cost inner-city apartments would be about our last choice. With the large numbers of these either available and empty, or scheduled for completion next year, it's of great concern in our opinion, further exasperated by banking regulations. Thank you everybody for joining us and have a marvellous break. We will be working through the Christmas and New Year period, so if we can assist you in any way over this time, please don't hesitate to call myself Angela Steniford or Michael Steniford. Thank you again.